my name is Anna Christensen and I'm a naturalist educator at the National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota. Welcome to another Adventures in Eagle Territory. When I teach about eagles, I really try to promote people getting outdoors and experiencing this wonderful world we share with eagles. I'm a proud parent of a two-year-old and I know it's my responsibility to get my son Jude outdoors. Being outside is wonderful for his health and development. I'm also teaching Jude to have a respect for the earth. An article written for the Washington Post stated that the average American child spends five to eight hours a day in front of a digital screen. This means less and less children are spending time being outdoors and in nature. They have traded their green time for screen time. Now don't get me wrong, I love sitting down and watching a movie or a TV show with my son, but I don't want him growing up glued to a screen, never experiencing nature. That is why Jude and I are spending the day outside. We are going to show you some outdoor activities you can do right in your own yard with your kids. First, dig up some dirt and put it in a bucket. As you do this, make sure to pick out any worm friends that might be using the dirt too. Place them into a separate container for a later activity. Can you put even more dirt in those containers? Divide the dirt up into the smaller containers. Add one to two tablespoons of food coloring, a little squirt of Dawn, and a small portion of water. Stir it all together and voila! Your paint is ready! <laughs> Encourage your child to use their senses Feel the paint's texture, smell the damp mud, and listen to the sounds you're creating as you brush and spread the paint on your paper. You don't just have to use a brush for painting. Found objects make nifty painting tools too. Even though your final paintings will be awesome, Remember, this activity is about the experience and less about the finished project. Begin by covering the bottom of your container with gravel. Then add about an inch of dirt. Followed by an inch of sand. Continue to add dirt and sand until you get about an inch from the top. Place the worms in the container. To top it all off, add grass clippings to your worm tower. Add a very small amount of water. Wrap a black piece of paper around the container and secure it with a piece of tape. Now comes the hard part. Let your worm tower sit for a few days undisturbed. Create a list of 12 nature-related objects you would like your child to seek out and find in your yard. Give your child an empty egg carton, 
This will act as a treasure box for all the fun things they find. When their object is found, congratulate them and tell them to place the object into one of the slots in their treasure box. When your child finds an object, talk about it. This might be as simple as describing how it feels or asking what color it is. If you want to get a little more complex with your questions, ask what animal would use the object or talk about its function and nature. Above all things, have fun exploring with your child. Start by wrapping your paper around a tree. Using your packing tape, secure the paper to the tree. Remove the paper case from the oil pastels. Rub the pastel over the paper. The pastel works best when it's used on its side. Watch as the tree's texture suddenly appears on the paper. This is a great activity for your child to connect with the trees in their yard and to build their fine motor skills in the process. It sure has been hard letting our worm tower sit for a few days, but it's time to take off the paper. Encourage your child to seek out all the worms in the container and look for all the tunnels they made. If you leave the worms in the worm tower for about two weeks, they will completely mix up the dirt and sand in the container. If you keep the worms that long, remember to continue to add a little bit of water along the way to keep the worms moist. When you're done, be kind and release your worms back into the outdoors. So thank you for joining Jude and I in another Adventures in Eagle Territory. Hope that we've inspired you today to get outdoors and have some fun. Until next time, be well. Bye. Say bye, Jude. Bye. Say bye, Jude. Bye. <laughs>